your explant surgery and you are done healing, one of the most important things that you can do is find some bras that make you feel good again. And this is literally the key. Like a good bra that fits good and makes you feel good literally helps to boost your mindset about your decision to explant and will just change the game. So today in this video, I am going to try on, I think it's seven different pepper bras. And I have my favorite sports bra that I wanna share with you that you have to get. It's my everyday go-to bra. And then I have two bathing suit tops that I got from Target because I had a very hard time finding bathing suit tops that didn't make me feel very insecure and so be sure to stick around to the end of the video and i am going to try on my favorite real bra towards the very end of the video so i'll try to make the try ons quick because i know everybody's attention span is this big nowadays but stick around for this entire video so that you can see some of the different bras how they look how they fit how they feel and i think right now i'm sitting at about a 32 a cup Whereas with my implants in, I was a 32 triple D. So trust me, ladies, if you are considering explant, but you just don't think you can do it, if I can do it and feel really good about it, so can you. So let's get into the video. Okay, we're starting off this video with the most comfortable bra that Pepper has. And I will go through in the description box after this video and I'll put each bra so that you can know the name of which one. So this is number one, and this is the most comfortable bra. So it is super, super soft to the touch. It doesn't hurt my incisions, and it just feels very free and almost like I don't have anything on. So here's from the back. And let me put on a top real quick because I want you to see what it looks like with a tank top on, which is mainly what I wear. I live in a black tank top. So let me put that on and then I will tell you my thoughts on that. Here is with the tank top on. It's not terrible from the side, from the front. Here's my thing. This doesn't give me like that push up lift that I was used to previously when I had implants and I always wore a push-up bra with implants so I was really rocking the implants so this one I don't usually like wear outside the house this is more so like in the house comfy um, but it's not like my go-to but I do love how soft and comfortable it is here is bra number two and this one does have an underwire the first one did not I probably should have said that um, this one's okay. I kind of feel like it's supposed to be like a sexy bra because it's kind of see-through and it's very thin. There's zero padding in this, but I do feel like this one just kind of makes me look weird through here, which I've said in some of my other explant videos that I feel like after you remove big implants that you have to kind of work on retoning this whole section of your body just because I think it just laid differently when it had the skin stretched out with the um, with the implants. So, but here's this one. Here's from the side. Oh, here's with the shirt up. I'm just gonna leave the shirt on and pull it up and down in this video, or we'll be here all day. So here's with this. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, here is bra number three. This one is another no underwire bra. It's pretty comfortable. This one's a little bit more form, like fitted through here, like. It's got more structure through here than that first one that did not have an underwire, which I kind of like. I think it's got like a little bit more like harder padding, I think. Um, but yeah, it's got this cute little detail from the side. Okay, let's pull the shirt up. Again, I, I still feel like a lot of bras, I just look weird right here, but I'm working on that. I've been working out, so that's good. Okay, so that was number three. Okay, here is bra number four. This one does have an underwire, and I really like this one. I actually considered wearing this as a bathing suit top, but then I didn't want to tear it up with like sunscreen, so I didn't. Um, but I really like, like I just feel like it looks really pretty. But with the shirt, it's still not my favorite. Those are getting ready to come up, but it's not too bad. Okay, this is number five, and this is my favorite one. I love this. Like, 
I literally, when I put this bra on, I was making like little short videos and posting them like bouncing around and like posting and like that I felt like I had implants again with this bra. Like it's their push up bra and it really pushes up your breast. And this makes me feel like me again. Like I love this bra. Now it does have an underwire um, and it, there for a while, I was having to layer this bra. I would put either my sports bra underneath it that I'm getting ready to show you, or I would put one of Pepper's, um, the very first bra that I had, I would wear that first, put this on top of it, just because it would help protect my incisions because my incisions are pretty, pretty angry still. So working through that, um, but here's what the shirt pulled up. I love this one and I'm gonna grab the other one because the other one is almost the same as this but it has a little bit different embroidery on it so one second this one has a little embroidery or something right here but it's essentially the same thing it's just like a prettier version of this one this one's just more the plain push-up and then this one's more of the like pretty push-up but they both push up the same and they're both amazing so I would definitely 100% get the pepper push-up bra like hands down like I if I want to feel sexy again and I want to feel like me again, I will put on this bra and I'm like, okay, I've got cleavage, like love it. This is my seventh bra. I just kind of combined that sixth one with the fifth one just because they're so similar. Um, but this, this is a Walmart bra. It's the brand AVIV. I'll put a picture of the tag in this video. Um, but I live in this bra. Like I sleep in this bra. I have a bunch of them. Um, I just buy it in the black. I feel like they make me, this bra makes me look really good considering I'm in a sports bra. The texture of this bra is very nice. It does not hurt my incision lines. It does give me support. It's a really good price point. I think it's like $6.99 or something like that. It's the best. Like, I love this sports bra so much. So definitely 100% go get that this one and they also have a zipper one that has some padding in it you might want to go with that as soon as you have your explant because you're you know it has a zipper and you're gonna have a hard time getting anything over and over your head once you graduate from that phase this is the one i would get like hands down now granted <laughs> When I first was able to start doing this motion, it was kind of hard to get it on and off, but it was so worth it because once I got it on, I just felt, I felt really confident in this sports bra. And even with my little tank top on, I still feel like I look like I have some boobs and from the side, I feel like it looks pretty good. So I love this one and I would actually, this is the sports bra I was talking about that I would just have this sports bra on and I would take my favorite push-up bra that I just showed you and I'd put it on top of it. Um, if You know what, I'll do that for you real quick, hold on. Okay, so basically like this part of the bra would cover my incisions and then I could put this on top and then it didn't hurt when I really wanted to wear this and just like go out and feel like me again this combo works like a charm it makes your breasts look bigger so you know obviously we like that okay so as a bonus I want to show you all two bathing suit tops that I found at Target and I tried on literally almost every top that they had at Target and at Walmart because that's like my local closest stores and I was like really stressed out to the point where I was like I don't know what I'm gonna do um, but I found this one brand from Target. I'm gonna show you what that is. I'll try both of them on and I feel like super confident at the beach now in my bathing suit top. I don't feel insecure, like I feel good. This is the bathing suit tops that I would recommend. Let me get those on now. Okay, I haven't actually even wore this to the beach yet just cause I just keep re-wearing the other one that I already took the tags off of. But here's one of them and the brand is called Kona Soul. Um, I'll zoom in on this so that you can see it, but it fits good. It doesn't make me look too crazy through here. It gives me like a little bit of cleavage. This one, neither of these have an underwire, but this one has nice support. And I like this little added touch, kind of sexy um, from the side. 
and this just feels good. The texture feels good, and I just feel really confident in this. So I love this one. Um, actually, this one might even be more comfortable than the other one and the under part. Um, let me try the other one on so you can see it though. Here's the other bathing suit top. This is the one I wear all the time. I love it so much. I feel like it makes me look like I have some breasts still, which is great. Um, I don't feel like super unconfident in it. Um, I was a little paranoid for a hot second, like, oh my gosh, everybody's so familiar with me at my beach that everyone's going to be like, oh man, what happened to her? You know what I mean? Like I got in my head for a hot second. Um, but when I have this on, I feel like it could kind of be confusing, like, because I would wear a similar bathing suit top to this when I had implants. Regardless, I still feel like it makes me look really good, makes me feel confident. Um, this one, well, I think anything that I wear right now, um, after a while, it does irritate my incisions. Um, I have to do this a lot just to kind of give them a break. And I'll try not to wear it for like extended periods of time. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. If you're new here, I do have a playlist. Be sure to check out all those videos or share them with anyone that you might think that could benefit from them. And if you're feeling my vibe, please subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a like as it really helps me grow this channel. And I will see you all in the next video.